We are here at the world famous Lake El Chuchillo, land of the giant bass. And we're going to be doing a little contest. We're going to see which of us out here can catch uh, the biggest bass. It's going to be a sleigh fest. <laughs> Good luck. There we go. Here we go, guys. We are heading out into Lake El Cuchillo. Here we are, just arrived at location number one. Lots of stick ups. I'm guessing uh, we're gonna be flipping all day. Is that right? Yeah. Lots of flipping. We out here with Chewy, the best bass angler in all of Mexico. Should be awesome, man. Thank you. Let's go. We've Rob using spinner bait. Chewy's using the uh, like a normal size lizard. I'm pulling out the big boy. I'm gonna start for the uh, go for the big girls right off the bat. Pulling out the nine inch lizard. It's been about 45 minutes. Not having much luck from this area. We've got, Chewy's got one small one, and a uh, buddy over there has got a four pounder on a wacky rigged worm. But we're about to make a move and uh, try to find some fish. So we moved to a new area. Looks like uh, a lot of sticks, that's for sure. But I guess even when you're on a great lake, you still gotta find the fish. Wow, you are the boss, my friend. <laughs> oh, that's a good fish. Come on, come on. That's, that's a, a big one. fish. I'll help you, I'll help you. Oh, he's on the tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, you still get it? Yeah, I thought you had a giant. Oh, it still could be a big one. That's you still feel it? That's off. No, he's off. He's off. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! You got him! Whoa. Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> After being stacked that whole time? He was wrapped around the tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, that. There you go, Rob. First one. He was afraid you, yeah? <laughs> Alright, that's one way to catch a fish. Nice, dude. <laughs> that's a hey! Way. That, that was weird. Got one? Oh, good fish, good fish. Oh, it's in the tree. Oh, nice. First good one of the day. Nice. On the lizard, man. So using a lizard, you got a little rattle on it too. Nice one, nice one, good. Yeah. Mhm. Mm there she goes. Nice job, man. Thank you. Dude, oh my! Oh, the hat! The straw hat! No. Hook it. No, my hat's gone. Just to blow my hat. Would that have knocked out down your drone or not really? No, it wouldn't have done anything to the drone. It's just there we go. There you go, man. Hat's back. Good to go. Not gonna lie, my ten pounder senses are tingling. <laughs> Any second now. Might be this tree right here actually. Here's my first fish. Not bad. We'll take it. Oh, it's peeing. It's peeing. Probably because I'm squeezing his bladder. Healthy fish. The old anaconda. Almost 10 pounds, right? What do you think? Uh, I don't. I don't know if that's 10 pounds, but I'll give it to you. Look! Look how big! Look how big that is. <laughs> right? <laughs> all right. Yep. Been fishing for about two and a half hours. Look at all this. You know there's 10 pounders in here. It's just a matter of time. On a good note, we have tacos on the boat. We do have tacos. You want to eat them? You want a taco? Yeah, let's eat a taco. Oh, all right, taco time. Oh. Oh, tacos. Oh, tacos. Oh, those are tacos. Oh, oh those are good. Dude, look at all these tacos, man. It's a lot of tacos. Let's see what's in them. Mm. What's in here? A beans? Egg and sausage. Egg and, and so, well, there's no sausage, it's mm. meat. You want some? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna recharge a little. Then get back on the um, flipping and pitching ground. We got a, got a lot of wood to cover, that's for sure. So we're mixing up a little now. We're on the main river channel. We're gonna be casting shallow in about three to four feet. Then bringing it back out to the channel along that uh, stair step, whatever drop off. 20 to 25 feet. Hopefully we'll find some bass stacked somewhere around here. All right, I'm putting away the big boy. It's time to go finesse on these fish. Grind's been hard out here. We've been out here for like, let's see what time it is. Time is 2.20. Now you're a long time, not much luck. Let's see if uh, 
finesse tactics work on these Mexico bass. Two rods. Three. All right, next cast. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no one saw that. <laughs> might be the same fish, to be honest. I might have to throw a Senko on this rod. Dude, if fishing's tough, you put on the Senko. It's just how it goes. See you, little guy. How about it, Roger? It's hot. Rubber? Oh, he's gonna make it. Oh. Hot, 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 hot. Ooh. Dude, <laughs> everything is hot. You didn't tell me, eh? <laughs> Try, man. Yeah. Dude, it's, it's 100 degrees oh, out here. Hold this? <laughs> All right. We're going to Tortuga right oh. now, guys. It's hot. Put it down. Oh. Don't let it touch Ooh. me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a little bit, huh? And I would tell him the same thing if I was you. But I don't know if you guys will do that. Uh, I, I, I can do that. Oh, no. Wait, is it fish? Oh. Is it giant? Oh, it's huge. It's huge. It's Wait, there's a net. It is so big. Uh, grab net. Oh, oh, my oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Net. You want the net? Oh, my goodness. Holy jeez. Do you want the net? Do you want the net? Oh Do you want the net? God. It is so big! Do you want the net? Oh my! Oh god, the net! Dude! I'm you. Oh my gosh! That's a 10 pounder! Go! Land it! Land it! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh you can It's a Mexican fish! Oh my god! That's a 15! What the heck? Are you kidding me? Holy jeez! <laughs> Can I just, I just want to hold it. I've never <laughs> held a fish this big. Oh my goodness. Eh? What Man, the buddy. is Man, going buddy. on here? Job, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Jesus, this is why this man is the number <laughs> one fisherman in Mexico. Oh my goodness. That right there. Was... Nine and a half pounder. <laughs> Man, I thought it was over 10. <laughs> that thing is a giant. Fish is over 10. <laughs> Dude, it looks over 10. Look at that thing. So my camera wasn't on for the release. He has it. He has the release on his channel. But we've been fishing out here for eight hours. All we've been catching our dinks. The best fish today was true. caught like a two and a half or something. Then all of a sudden we pull up to this spot, their secret spot where they say they're giants, and he pulls up a nine and a half pounder. Oh, you got one? Oh, it's a big. Fish. It's a big fish. It's got, or unless it got me wrapped up. No, oh, it's a good fish. Oh man. It's a big one. This way, go this way. Rob's on him now. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Now it's turning on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! Woo! Dude! <laughs> on the Senko! On the Senko! Oh my gosh, man. Another beauty. Dude, it turned. How did it happen? The first eight hours a day, nothing. Now, last hour, two Dude, monsters. I knew that was a giant. Oh. Right. There we go, boys. It's another giant. Oh, right when my camera <laughs> dies. Good too. timing, man. Mm. Let me call you back. There she goes, man. Nice stuff. Thank you. Good job. Way to go. What, what do you call this spot? What do you call it? What's the spot? Name of the spot? Uh, it's uh, Creek. Oh, this is Turtle. Turtle. Turtle Creek. Turtle. Turtle Creek. Turtle Creek. Catching and not turtles. So we just caught those two huge fish. We're making a move to another good area. And this whole area is just a little sweet spot they like to fish. These two guys caught their fish five yards apart. Five yards, that tree and that tree over there. That was it. So now we're moving, hopefully more big fish. All right, we're calling it a day. Rob's giant that he caught was the last fish caught. It was a really interesting day. We grinded out for like seven and a half hours, caught a bunch of dinks, and that one 30 minute time span caught a nine and a half by Chewy, and Rob caught like an eight pounder. Really, really interesting how the day worked out. Those two giants from that one little area, then the rest of the day, uh, pretty tough, not, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, tomorrow we're trying a different lake. We're trying Sugar Lake. Hopefully we can get on some giants. And I'd like to thank uh, Winston Tucker from Favorite Rods and Reels for letting me try out some of his rods while I'm down here. I got to try out his uh, Balance series, which is runs for $80. It's a pretty cheap rod, and honestly, it's one of the best rods I've used in this price range. You can see how thin it is. Extremely lightweight, good amount of sensitivity. I was very impressed for the, uh, the price that it went for. And I also got to try his flagship rod, the uh, Summit Rod which goes for about $300. This rod has got to be one of the most sensitive rods I've ever used in my entire life. 
wherever you put your hand, it's going to be all over the blank right here. It's going to transmit all that feel and vibration right to the palm of your hand. And that's actually almost an issue because every time I went over a stump or a rock, I felt so much uh, feedback into my arm, I almost thought it was a bite. But uh, looking forward to testing more of those rods out. So far, I'm liking them. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow.